Space currently occupied by J.C. Penney is set to be transformed into high-end housing. CBS 8's Jenny Day joins us with a closer look at the plans for this project. Yeah, so the development would be right here on the far west end of the mall, nestled next to Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus. The plan is to build 850 luxury homes for the very first time inside of this mall. We are always going to have people drawn to the coast of California, always people drawn to San Diego in general. Major changes are coming to one of San Diego's most iconic outdoor malls. If you want luxury, you go there. Your front yard could be steps away from Rolex, Dior, and Dolce & Gabbana. It's kind of cool to see the luxury. It kind of reminds me of Rodeo, but not everybody can afford that. Yeah. Over the years, more and more storefronts became designer brands, and soon they'll have the housing to match. I think the trend really is in any age group of buyers, um, people want walkability. And I love what they're doing. I think creating more housing is a good thing in general, right? I wish that there was more home ownership opportunities there because that's really what we need here in San Diego. With this growth, though, comes the end of an era for this Penny's location. I've been going to JCPenney since I was like a kid. Retail's hard right now, right? I mean, with all the online shopping. Simon, the property owner of Fashion Valley, says the multi-million dollar investment will intertwine high-end housing with luxury boutiques, adding the redevelopment marks a new era of sophistication and convenient living. The units are set to have, quote, incomparable amenities and high-end finishes. There are also plans for new restaurants and open green spaces. Well, I was a little surprised yeah. just because they're just building some new apartments right down the road. It's going to be a lot of traffic and we'll see. Given San Diego's housing situation, I asked if a city ordinance will require any of the units to fall under the affordable housing category. In a nutshell, a certain percentage will have to be, otherwise the property owner has to pay a fee. The city of San Diego added they haven't yet received an application for the project. Yeah, so still no word on how many stories this project will end up being. JCPenney is set to close next year, and then construction should be complete by the end of 2026. Reporting live tonight from Fashion Valley, Jenny Day, CBS 8. All right, Jenny.